Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I want to talk to you about Troika's fourth project, a secret project. I'm not talking demo here, I'm talking paid project that we completed. Before I can do that, let me give you a little context. So I moved to California in the late 80s from Virginia to go to graduate school at University of California, Irvine. I got my master's in 89 in computer science with a specialty in artificial intelligence with a subspecialty in integrated learning methods. Blah. I started on my PhD. A couple years later, I went, no, not going to do this. And I went to go work at Interplay. That was in 91. So in 2004, when we were finishing up Vampire Bloodlines, I think it was September of 2004, I got approached by a friend of mine who had graduated from UCI with a PhD and was working for the U.S. Department of Defense. He had developed a system and he wanted to know if I could take Temple of Elemental Evil and write an API, a programming interface, so that an external AI could run the game. And I was like, I think I could do that. And he goes, we'll pay you. Now, there's only enough. I think it paid for me and Steve Murray. I was the principal investigator, so I had to write all the reports and um, verify builds and get those to them and interact with those people. Um, Steve did the coding. So what we had to do was make it possible, and we, we did it over the space of about six months, and we did it in stages. I still have the reports. We made it so that an external program could control the basic functions of Temple of Elemental Evil. It could start and stop the game. It could load and save games. It could start a game, meaning go through character creation, when it got into the world, it could do basic stuff. It could move any object that was usable, like a door or a map um, transition or chest, it could use. It could grab things, grab in stuff and put it in its inventory. It could wield things from its inventory. It could talk to people, although when it got the dialogue, it just all it knew was there are three responses and it would just pick one at random. We put that together in, in stages and sent it. Never, ever saw the AI on their end that would use it. That's why it was done like this. So Steve put together just a random AI. I mean, it just started up the game, made some random characters, random walked around maps. Uh, when it got in dialogues, it just selected things at random. It tried wielding things until stuff went on. Um, we used as a measure of its success, and this is one thing that was really interesting because one of the reports I had to write is what is how can the AI measure its success? And I said, there's a perfect way to do that in Temple of Elemental Evil, and that is your experience points bar. If you're getting experience points, you're doing good. The level was not quite, I mean, it could, it could go up a level. Um, and I think it randomly selected feats and skills it wanted. But... The just watching the experience point bar was a great way of knowing if you were doing good. And of course, death was the ultimate negative reinforcement. If you died, that's bad. And it could detect these events. So the fun thing was, one day, we had got a lot of this stuff done, and Steve had been testing it, and we decided to go to lunch. I think we went with Dennis Taylor, one of the other programmers. So Steve said, let me just spin this up. So he just spun it up, brand new game, started the random AI that he wrote, just that, you know, sent random things in through the API. And we went to lunch. We came back an hour later and walked into his office and there was a full party, including Fruella, the NPC that you could pick up, one of many that you could pick up in Hamlet. And they were fighting giant spiders on another map, which meant the AI had made a party, had wandered around Hamlet into buildings, talked to people, managed to acquire a follower and equipment, left the Hamlet map, went to another map, and was fighting giant spiders. And we're like, 
I think this is a success because if that's what a random AI can do in an hour, I can't imagine what an AI with state memory and learning algorithms could do. Delivered, we delivered this to my uh, doctor buddy in 2005. I'm not exactly sure what, I, I saw something dated June 2005, but by then Troika would have been mostly shut down. But we delivered it to them. Um, don't know what happened to it. It's gone. But what that means is, even though Troika is known for having three games, Arcanum, Temple of Elemental Evil, and Vampire Bloodlines, and now I've pointed out we had two demos, the Lord of the Rings demo and the post-apocalyptic demo, codenamed Epic, there actually was a fourth paid and delivered project, which is in a completely externally runnable Temple of Elemental Evil. We're through the looking glass here, people. Have a good day.